Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're gonna to talk about geolocation. So geolocation is an amazing tool inside of SketchUp that allows you to bring in satellite data and terrain and place it at scale into your model. So if you're modeling something that's gonna exist in the real world, you can see what it would look like against that imagery and that terrain. Uh, using it's pretty simple too, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's hop in. Okay, so I'm starting here with a, just an empty model, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab some geometry, and we're gonna pull it in. So I'm gonna go up to File, and I'm gonna click on Geolocation, Add Location. You do have to be connected to the internet to make this work. If you're not connected, uh, well, nothing's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. So when you come in here, you're gonna get an image of the world. If I zoom out far enough, I can actually kind of see the whole world. And uh, you can zoom in, pan around if you're trying to just find where, where you wanna pull imagery from, or if you want to, you can actually come in here and type in addresses. This can be something simple like a town, like here, just Boulder, Colorado. Let's go ahead and search Boulder, Colorado. And it will, uh, actually that was, Let's try that again, Boulder CO, and if I hit search, there's Boulder, Colorado. Um, if you have a specific address, you can type that in. Uh, basically, as much or little information as you want, and then you can pan around once you get near it. You can see that I have this blue blob showing up over a portion of the screen. That blue section is showing where high-res imagery is available. If I toggle this little check mark right here, that'll go away. We'll talk more about what that is in just a second once we find a spot we want to pull in. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start zooming in here and I get to a certain point where I get this, this little white rectangle shows up. That is a selectable or importable region. So that's what I'm, I'm looking for is I wanna figure out how big that's gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in until I get, okay, this is the section I wanna pull in. I wanna pull in this big, huge section right here. It's possible you wanna get a lot less. So I might, if I was zooming in, maybe I just wanted to get like this block right here. That's possible too. I might wanna get more or less. Uh, that's just done by zooming. So just your scroll wheel up and down is gonna allow you to zoom in or out, or you can actually use these uh, plus and minus buttons on the, on the right side. You can see we'll eventually hit a maximum zoom. So once I hit level 18, I can't zoom in anymore. And likewise, if I go all the way out to one, uh, it'll tell me I can't go out any more than that too. So I'm gonna go in here to about 15, and I'm gonna hit select region. When I hit select region, the first thing it's gonna prompt me for is to select the provider. I have two options in here digital globe or near map digital globe is going to give me free data that i can grab and pull in uh, if i with my subscription to sketchup pro that will give me a satellite and terrain data for the selected area if i want to switch to near map so two things have to happen with near map one is i have to be selecting inside this blue footprint so that's where that high reds coverage that blue overlay comes into play. Um, and the other thing that's gonna happen is when I hit uh, select, when I, when, I, when I choose that, I do have to pay for the tiles. So Near Map is a paid service. You do have to actually pay to get access to the tiles. Uh, there is a minimum number of uh, pieces to import. So I do have to get above that quantity right here to make the purchase of those tiles. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull in digital globe data for this section. And uh, I can toggle the tile boundaries on and off so I can see or not see that. Really, that has, that's more helpful if I'm actually looking at purchasing because then I can see how many tiles I'm pulling in. Um, but in this case, I'll just turn it off and that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and import it. All right, regardless of whether you use the paid tiles or the digital globe tiles, it's going to bring in this imagery. Uh, the paid tiles, of course, the near map is going to be much higher resolution as I zoom in. You can see with Digital Globe, once I get in after a certain distance, it kind of becomes kind of messy or, or uh, I don't know what that, what's the low, lower quality. Um, but you can see here's Sumele. She's still in here. She's way down here. This just gives you an idea of the size of what I just imported. I imported a lot of, of uh <laughs> square footage or acreage probably this size when that pulls in it is going to pull in inside of a group and that group is going to be locked 
This is just to prevent you from accidentally messing anything up. So what, what happened right here is it pulled this image in, it scaled it one to one, so this is real size. It also located your model in the world. So right now, SketchUp knows exactly where you're modeling. If I'm modeling right here, it knows the exact uh, longitude and latitude of that model. This is really helpful because it can do things like if I was to export this information, depending on where I send it, it might actually know where to place that in the world. It also means that when I look at shadows, it's going to give me realistic shadows for that location because it knows where exactly it is. So looking at this a little bit further, like I said, there's a group here. Right now, it's just all flat. Um, I do have the option of going up to File, back to Geolocation, and toggling Show Terrain. See that? It actually gives me not just uh, the imagery, but it actually brings in the terrain of that location as well, which is pretty awesome. That's pretty cool, especially like I said, if you're if I was modeling something that had to sit here and inter interact with this this slope, uh, it would be good to know this data. Really cool information. Um, just to dive in a little bit to what that actually is, this is just SketchUp data at the end of the day. Like I said, it locks it so you don't accidentally manipulate or change it, which would invalidate potentially your geolocation and make it, you know, incorrect data. Um, but really what's happening here, what it brings in, and when, I'm, when I come up here and I go to geolocation and I toggle show terrain, what it's doing is it's actually just toggling between two layers. So if I click over here, I actually have two layers. See if they're both visible right there. There's my, my flat snapshot and here's my bumpy terrain. And I could actually toggle those manually too if I wanted to. The other thing I want to look at real quick is we have this image right here. If I go to view and turn on hidden geometry, you can see the mesh that's being created. So SketchUp is actually creating this 3D mesh and then applying this texture to it to create that 3D uh, terrain map. But again, all it is is SketchUp geometry. So if you get to the point where you really do want to come in here and make changes. Maybe you want to, you know, fill something up. I'm going to build up a mesa or something like that right here. You can, if you want to, right click and unlock this geometry. At that point, this is just SketchUp data. So I can move or manipulate this however I want once I get that, that section unlocked. Um, I can work with that however I really feel like I need to. So there it is. That's a high-level review of how to use geolocation to import geometry and toggle between snapshot and terrain. Like I said, geolocation is an incredibly useful tool. So many things you can do with it. Anytime you're going to have anything that's going to be set into a place that already exists in the real world and is outside, uh, geolocation is a great tool to take a look at. If you're really getting specific, if you need to see like uh, you know, footprints of buildings, that kind of thing. Then you want to look at that high res imagery, purchasing that. Um, it's a couple dollars to do an import. Uh, well worth it though, if you're actually like, like I said, if what you're doing modeling wise is depending upon exact information. But if you're just looking for a general location, just, uh, you know, close enough is close enough, then the, the digital globe geometry is good enough for you to get an idea of where you're placing something. Either way, Geolocation is available to you if you have SketchUp Pro and you can import that data and work with it just like you would regular SketchUp geometry. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Have you used geolocation? What do you think? What was, this, what was something you did with it? We like making these videos a lot, but we like it even more when we're showing something you want to see. Thank you.